My name is Lakshman, Lakshman Pratap. Uh, I uh, finished my uh, PhD diploma in Yoga Therapy at Cider. Uh, why I chose this course? Uh, I had a stroke uh, about five, year, five and a half years back. Uh, and then uh, basically I was, uh, what do you say? In a, in a bed for about 40 days and it uh, took me more than a year to walk actually to walk by myself mm. then as usual there are uh, there were a lot of people who said to try this medicine that medicine and I was uh, changing from this and this and this. It went on for about one and a half years. And then, luckily for me, I decided to complete my post graduation, which I, I was doing when I had the attack. And uh, taking different forms of medicine took a break from me. As I joined there, I came to know about CITER through an article uh, in Times of India. Then I wanted to try yoga. Um, I completed my PhD and then uh, I joined, uh, I came to CITER actually to try out uh, yoga that is possible for me. Then the experiences uh, in the one week I had, I experienced in a very few of uh, a physiotherapy session by a, in a, by a very few physiotherapists. So one of the best experiences I had in about four years. Then I wanted to know more about yoga. I joined a PG diploma in yoga therapy in CITER. Uh, um, as usual, uh, taking the first step is with the apprehension. I was uh, very much afraid to do the course. And again, there was a part of me that wanted to finish it, and there was a part of me that was again afraid. So uh, because I have not lived uh, um, alone since the since my stroke, I came here. I stayed out. Basically, I did everything by myself. And then uh, yoga. Yoga is uh, not only asanas and pranayamas. I came to know. When I was studying yoga, not just the theory, I came to know yoga is a lifestyle. It has to be lived, it has to be experienced. Just because you do an asana uh, doesn't mean the other person has to experience the same thing that you do. So it is a lifestyle that has to be lived by yourself. And then uh, I came to know just recently that uh, one of my uh, fellow stroke patients, he uh, went for a yoga, for yoga, uh, like me. So it was good to know. Not just, uh, I came to know that uh, not just stroke, it can be used um, as a alternative medicine for as an alternative medicine to almost all the diseases. Yoga has uh, preventive, promotive and rehabilitative potential. Mm. And uh, again, I, it, uh, the, there are a lot of psychosomatic disorders where the mind plays a role. The mind 
takes its effect on the body. So again, everyone can say that uh, there is stress, there is stress. And I came to know through yoga that stress is not the same, but the stress is everywhere. You cannot change the stressure, but you can change the way you look at it and you perceive it. Um, to my fellow stroke survivors, I wish to say that take a yoga, take up yoga. Not just stroke uh, survivors, any life-threatening challenges. So you can live your life fully. And to the what I gain through yoga. Uh, I cannot uh, measure it with a scale actually. Uh, but if you ask me as a my experience uh, out of 10, I would give it as 10 out of 10. It cannot be measured physically by a scale or something. It is what you uh, experience inside.